Hello and welcome to the first installment of Math Daddy Explains Math Memes. I'm your host, The Math Daddy. Today's meme comes from a quaint little corner of the internet, a Facebook group called Mathematical Mathematics Memes. The meme follows the classic Drake template, showing us two bicycles, one with round wheels and one with square wheels. To understand what's going on here, we need to address the notation on Drake's head here. You see, this meme is about norms. What's a norm, you ask? A norm is a function that assigns a length to the elements of a set. For example, in the real numbers, the absolute value is the standard norm. In R2, it is the Euclidean norm, given by the Pythagorean theorem. The norm is essentially the magnitude of a vector in the plane. If we look at the set of all points that are distance 1 from the origin, the points in R2 with a norm of 1, we get a circle of radius 1. The set of all points with a given Euclidean norm value will always be a circle. However, there are other norms that we might consider. You may object and say, hey wait a minute, there's only one correct length for this point on the plane. Well yes, but you're kind of putting the cart before the horse here. Instead of thinking of the norm as measuring the length of an already determined geometric configuration, you should think of the norm as the function that puts the set into that geometry in the first place. In other words, the Euclidean norm doesn't give the length in R2 because R2 is a plane. R2 is a plane because we put the Euclidean norm on that set. Sets don't have a shape. It needs an extra ingredient to have a shape and the norm is an example of such an ingredient. Observe that the Euclidean norm has an exponent of 2 and a second root. Let's call the Euclidean norm the 2 norm. We might consider the 3 norm or the 4 norm and so on. It's not difficult to convince yourself that as the value of these exponents and roots increase, the norm will favor the larger of the two coordinates in absolute value in reporting its result as the larger exponent will cause the two values to trend away from each other. The limit of this trend is to consider only the larger of the two coordinates in absolute value. This is the infinity norm. The length is given by the absolute value of the maximum coordinate. If we were to look at the set of points that are distance one from the origin under this new norm, we're looking at the points which have a coordinate of absolute value one with the other coordinate having an absolute value smaller than one. Under this new norm, we are no longer generating circles, we're generating these squares. And that, my friend, is why the infinity norm Drake shows a preference to the square-wheeled bike. That concludes this installment of Math Daddy Explains. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.